Her teacher is sitting at her desk when Jackson suddenly begins punching her to the ground. This just is is very upsetting. According to Covington police, the teacher is a 64 year old disabled woman. She's been with St. Tammany for a very long time. But she is very bruised and, and hurt. Uh, she's in a lot of pain and uh, we just, I just feel for her. What do you want me to spit some bars? You got a beat? Not that kind of freestyle? You talking about something else? <laughs> yeah. Hey, but look, why would they want to arrest the person that was filming? Like, that's, ain't that something else? No, arrest them. I'm sick of these kids filming stuff. I'm sick of it. I am. Get your tail somewhere and do what you need to do. Because if stuff was filmed back when I was in high school, I would still be in trouble right now. <laughs> so, like, go on about your business and stop. And maybe that will set an example for anybody else who wants to stand around and film something. It's not okay. But um, as far as this, this is this is odd to me. Slap a teacher and beat one down, that's very different. This is this is mm, I don't know. It's it doesn't make a lot of sense to me. But I'm gonna tell you something. Tell y'all a quick little story because he said freestyle because he's doing something. When I was in high school, I took theater. And my theater teacher was an old lady. Her name was Mrs. Schultz. God rest her soul. She has passed on. But Mrs. Schultz decided that she was going to recite a poem to us. This was a Caucasian lady. And the poem was called, I'd rather be a nigga than poor white trash. And she said those words. Like she recited the poem word for word. And that day, she almost got these hands. Like I, I like flipped the hands over. My friend was like, Kalisha, it's not worth it. Do not go to jail behind these. Like I was like, bitch, you got me fucked up. You want to get these hands? So good thing, you know, TikTok and all this stuff was not around. <laughs> coming up because I probably would have been suspended and I was top of my class like I was top of somebody else's class as me and Deltrees discussed earlier I graduated early that was just a shocking video to me um just looks like a little innocent sweet little girl in in my opinion but um you don't know what the teacher said to her you know, it could have been something that was brewing a long time and she was just like, you know what? I'm going to take this little TikTok challenge, you know, thing just as an opportunity to get back. OK, but if she said something that she shouldn't have said, then she just got got. And I hate to say that. I do think that uh, TikTok and Instagram, like I think social media has created some monsters um in the younger generation but um in the same vein it it's helpful sometimes to expose some people that should be exposed um again i don't know what this lady said maybe she said something that day or maybe it's been a build up over a few weeks a few months you know school just really started but um you never know what the teacher said that had right. that thing. and it, it may not have had anything to do with the grades that day but that young lady could have said you know what oh it's the tiktok challenge i don't like you know miss miss jones or miss whomever that was um i'm about to get her y'all go ahead and catch this on on you know tiktok she was 18 years old charged with a felony i think she should be charged with three felonies because she's a heavyweight getting on the elderly woman would you want an 18 year old person to punch you no nope. it just all depends because there again you don't know what that lady said to her you don't know what the teacher said to her that day um i you know the teacher does have a disability but still sometimes teachers can say some things and they have to catch hands because of it i'm not condoning it once again but sometimes people get fed up so if you already know your situation, I'm I'm not going up against an 18 year old. I'm too old. <laughs> yeah, right. they, they gonna have they gonna have me. But um, I'm gonna have to go get my gun like the other guy. I, I don't. You're not supposed to break your gun. Remember, y'all say don't break the gun. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta protect yeah, but, yourself. Yeah, but I'm. Yeah, it all depends on what she said. No, she shouldn't have been punched. Um young people we we have to as the older generation i don't know how old you are i'm not telling my age right now i understand that you're my teacher but you're going to respect me you're not going to talk to me that way that's number one because you you don't know what the lady said like um how um 
the lady said that her teacher recited a poem with the word nigger in it. You don't know, that lady could have said something that affected, could have said nigger to that young lady. It shouldn't affect her because that word really means nothing or should mean nothing to us, but maybe it affected her. Maybe she said something else. So she took the opportunity to say, you know what? You got to get got. I don't know. Um, I don't think her size has anything to do with it. I think it's whether she felt disrespected, whether she felt like she was backed up against a wall and she took this little TikTok opportunity to kind of pounce on her. I don't know. Wow. That's something serious. But um, I would like to thank you guys for joining the show tonight. It's been a very special show.